Welcome to Sailing Britain and I'm Simon. Today I'm going to show you a variety of filters that we use to ensure that we have good tasting water. So we have a lot of filters on this boat. We have two pre-filters when it sucks up the seawater they go through there, through the water maker, into the membrane and then into the tank. I also have a drinking water fountain here which has a carbon filter. Also, if we're in a marina, we filter the water that comes in from the marina, we go through a 50 mil and then a carbon before it goes into the tank. So we really, really try and filter the water to get good tasting water. I'm changing the pre-filters on the water maker. Before I start changing the filters on the water maker, I'm gonna switch off the stop cock. Otherwise, we'll just have water keep coming in. This one here off. off and the other two are on. The other two are on. So what happens is the water comes up, it goes through this one which is a 50 micron and then there's a second one which is a 5 micron. So this is the old one I'm taking out. I've cleaned it all through and that's the new one. So here it goes. I'm going to fill this with water and then put it back on. Okay so the water comes in from the sea through here into the 50 mil and then into the 5 mil, and then into the water maker. And this is the tricky bit, getting it back together. So you're taking the 5 micron off now? Yeah. And you have to use that special... Uh... Mm -hmm. There you go. This filters seawater. This is going to be a bit dirty because it, it's, it's getting dirty seawater coming in. And this one's dirty, this is a five mil. So it's kind of gross. When's the last time you changed that? About two months ago. Okay, so that's two months of dirtiness? Yep. That's disgusting. Yep. So that's the five micron, the real dark one. Mm -hmm. And then the light one is the... 50. So here's the difference. Robert's calling today. Oh, Sienna. Sienna. What video in? It's all right. This is a five five micron, mm -hmm. and so the dark one is uh, obviously the one we're changing out, and the new one is bright and white. Okay, so I've put all the filters back on now. I'm going to open up the sea cock for the water maker. That's back on. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch on the low pressure pump, which will just fill everything up, make sure it's not leaking, and get all the air locks out. So what I'm doing is just easing this out. Can you hear the air going out? There we go. Oh, just like um, sooner we're just like bleeding a radiator. Yeah, just like bleeding a radiator, yeah. There we go. And a little bit of water came out. That's great. There we go. That was the water maker filtration system. Now I'll show you how to service the tap filter. Before I take the filter off the drinking water, I make sure that I switch off the water pumps and then drain the system by opening the taps. There's a blue filter over there, and that's the carbon filter which goes into the drinking fountain. So I'm gonna be changing that soon. If I'm worried about this, water comes in from either an outside tap at a marina, or it comes into our water tank from the water maker. Yes. That goes through these two. Yes. And then from the water tank, it's then any water we have is filtered one more time through this blue one in the back that leads to our tap. Yeah, to the drinking tap only. Yes. Not, not, not the normal tap. Not the normal tap. No. So in all cases, our water is filtered twice coming in and once going to the tap. Came off fairly easy. <laughs> That's good. Right. This is the water for the drinking water. That's a carbon filter. Doesn't look too bad either. No. Well, that's a bit, a bit dirty in there. So what I'll do now is I'm going to clean this all up, put the new filter back on, and off we go. Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt. Exactly. This is the old filter we've taken out. Uh, these ones were, we bought when we were in the United States. These are ones we bought in Grenada. Um, not quite as good, so I'll have to change them a little bit more regular. But I bought this in a hardware store and it was about a quarter of the price it is in the marina, in the marina store. 
So it's a quarter of the price and I'll have to use it twice as much. So it's really quite easy to get it off, but getting it on, it can be a little bit more of a problem because when it sits in there, when it's floating around the water, sometimes it wobbles about and it's, it's got to have the male goes in there and the male goes in there. Sometimes it goes off and then it, it'll close, but it won't close that little bit and then you, it leaks. So it only took me two times this time. Sometimes it's taken me six. Cool. But it's on, it's finished. So then after, every time I put it back on, I check to see there's no leaks and I put it under pressure. First time it was leaking, pulled it back down, put it back in again, it sat nicely, checked it for pressure back on, no leaks. When we're at a marina, we'll often fill up with water, especially if it's free. We however filter the water between the marina tap and the boat water tank. First we turn the water on and let the water run for a little while to get any stagnant or warm water out of the hose. We also taste the water to determine if it tastes okay. In certain areas of the world, water can be brackish and you don't want that in your water tank. Simon then turns the water off, hooks up the hose to the filter system, and then lets the water run through the filters a couple more minutes to clear out any stagnant water. The filters are a 50 mil and a carbon filter. He then puts the hose tap into the water tank. The final step is to cover the filters with an old towel or sheet so that the sun isn't beating down on them. This protects the system from UV damage and unnecessarily warming up the water. Yeah, can you do it again but with more excitement? No, I've got yeah. the worst taste use, in use, in my your, use your hands. No, Say. I can't. I'm, I'm on note. You want to keep your water tanks nice and clean. Make sure to watch our video on how to clean your water tank. Remember to visit our website and have a look at other videos that we put out and other information that help blue water cruisers. It's sailingbritigan.com.